eight. Got a big box of stuff from Journal's Comics I'm gonna open here. To raw books. Hey, I'm Lynn. Thanks for checking out my comic closet. I appreciate y'all, you know, clicking on this video. Well, I've got 109 subscribers, I believe, and I'm looking to get more, but I'm bribing you. So if you want to have a chance of winning this, what are these two slabs? 96 Batman Legends of the Dark Knight, number 63, CBCS, triple sign. Or we have this, set that in there. 98 CGC Venom number 26 that um, triple signed. So you can look back at previous videos, get a little more information. There's one that says 100th subscriber giveaway video. You'll be able to leave a comment on that. I'm going to pick a comment in a couple weeks. I'm showing it on here, and we will give one of those away to whoever's comment is picked. So yeah, I've got this box of books here from Journal's Comics. I'm going to open up in a second. Oh, but I want to also mention the um, CBCAs, the Comic Book Community Awards on YouTube. Um, I think they're mostly being run by Brian LCS, which is Brian, is Brian underscore LCS, which I just figured out what the LCS is. Not that I was, I guess, not paying attention. LCS is basically local comic shop or store. But yeah, I was watching his stream the other day, chatting in that, and I realized he's got loves collecting Spidey underneath his face. So I get it. Anyway, I'm gonna get this book just opened up. See what we got in here. A bunch of raw books that I have no idea what I got. I know well. I know there was a couple of them that said a certain lot, but there are other books that didn't even mention what they really were. So we'll find out together here. It's in a small, actually it's an Ulta Beauty box. My wife saw that and we wonder what I was buying our gift. Oh, those are some bumping envelopes that he's using for packing. Get right here nicely packed and I'm just gonna pull them out of here one at a time and open them up. See if I can remember what I bought. I always get good deals on journals. He's starts them cheap. I mean, I say I don't even know what I bought, but we'll find out here. A good batch of books, looks like. Right, um, put it over here. How do I do that? Here is it just a thick, thick board? I think it's okay. Just a thick board. I'm checking here. Right. Okay, so Marvel Tales, or Spider Man 108. I mean, they look like they're mid-grade shape, you know, readers. Yeah, I remember buying them because they were readers, basically. I have a lot of the Marvel Tales. There's a classic cover, though. Turn Spider-Man, the Vulture, coming after him. It's like a reprint of a classic cover. And then Marvel Tales, starring Spider-Man and Red Sonja, which I think this is kind of the one I bought it for. I collect a lot of Conan and Red Sonja stuff. So yeah, that was just a little lot I got. Here, let me get them put back in here so I don't I'll rebag them into a... So yeah, that's three of them in one thing, but that's fine. I mean, especially books in these conditions, it's not like, you know. I mean, I probably paid about a buck a book. He, he probably has a an invoice in here or a, you know, a shipper. Anyway, and then there's Ultimate Comics. 
all new Spider-Man number one. I believe these were the ones that were in a um, poly bag, right? A certain amount of them were, oh, there's two books here. A certain amount of them were signed by Stan Lee, I believe, or something. But this is unbagged and I don't see the poly bag. And I know um, Brian LCS did a live stream where him and another guy opened up their copies of the, I believe it was this book. They were in the bot and the poly bags. And um, just to see, to see if they were signed and neither one was. So I knew I had one, I found mine, but it was already opened. I still had the poly bag with it, still do. But anyway, so this is all new Spider-Man number one, Ultimate Comics Spider-Man. And then this is Marlon Morales Spider-Man number two variant edition. I don't know whose cover. What he says right there, Sapien. There's other things on here. I'll look up and see if I can see what cover that is. Who does it? And um, this is the book I have, but I don't know, this one. This is, I'm pretty sure I got a pretty good price. Kind of goes along with my Wolverine wall up there. I don't really have anything with well, there's Sabretooth. Fighting Sabretooth and the Battle of the Century where you got the little bookmarks that were you know, advertisements, but they have the like ticket for the fight. Which has a pretty cool cover. Anyway, so this is Sabretooth number one. The red cover, I don't know if that, you know, you have to see if there's anything different. I know I have that whole series, so at least uh, yeah, yeah. the first prints, normal covers. And then Web of Spider-Man Batch here. We'll get them out of here and take a look, right? Back over here. Web of Spider Man number two, which I just got a Web of Spider Man number one, which is that cool first one with the black, co black you know, suit. He's crawling over the rubble. Here's Web of Spider-Man 3, fighting the Vulture. I don't think I have all these early ones, though. I have a lot of Web of Spider-Man, but these are, the year are these from? Anybody know? In 1985. Web of Spider-Man 4. So if I have these, I would have to bought them as back issues. Web of Spider-Man number five, Hot Doc issue, and Web of Spider-Man number six, Marvel Tales lot, Web of Spider-Man lot, and then, yeah, this is what, I knew I was getting a couple of these, hence the, um, hence the Wolverine wall, but it's, um, Marvel Comics Presents. Weapon X Wolverine series with um, this is Gary Windsor Smith, I believe, did this story, and it's just it's a great story. I have the whole Marvel Comics Present series. I know I have the original run of Weapon X that I bought off the rack, but I've been buying some of these up just to have a couple extras, and this is. Weapon X, Marvel Comics Presents, Weapon X number 80. And these are kind of, you know, Marvel Comics Presents kind of an anthology series. There's like three or four stories in each, in each one. Okay, so, another little envelope here. And I would have had some pricing, but this here is another Marvel Tales, during Spider-Man, number 41, I believe there's a couple of books in there, what do you see? Let me check it out. Marvel 
over tails 41. Awesome. Cover. And then rebel tails 62, which is that awesome kangaroo cover. This has got a couple books in it. Marvel Tales starting Spider-Man number 85. Marvel Tales starting Spider-Man number 68. Spider-Man Unmasked. I think these are basically similar representations of the original covers. Marvel Tales starring Spider-Man number 64, the coming of the Schemer. Dazzler, number one. Remember, there were a few people bid, and bid on this one. There's a good cover. Got the floating heads. I would not be surprised if they brought Dazzler into the MCU when they bring the, when they bring the X-Men at least the mutants into the MCU. So this is Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man, number 93. Black Cat appearance. He's in the black suit. And this says, well, it has a sticker on it, it says 92 near mint black cat. I like about this, it's just a nice cover. Poison Ivy 7. I guess it's not a virgin because there's the trade dress up there and I'm not sure who the artist is. But that's a pretty cover. Oh, Monica Rambo Photon number one variant edition. I know I just went through and I have the number one edition. First, you know, original edition. Cover A, cover a I guess they would call it. And then I got this Demon Wars 1 Iron Samurai Peach Momoko cover. And then there's another bag here. Thank you, Chris. Says. Live stream name, massive sell off, plus a community fundraiser. So let me see this. There's a Weapon X book for nine bucks. I had two of those. Oh, Marvel Tales, 13 book lot. I paid 25 bucks for it. Dazzler One, I paid 15 bucks for it. Web of Spider Man 21 to 25, I paid 13 bucks for it. Web of Two through Six. Paid 13 bucks for Spectacular Spider-Man number 23, which is that one in the 92, he says. I'd be loving for that. Just for that book. Marvel Tales, three books, five dollars. Oh, the lot three book variants, sixteen dollars. Out of Marvel Tales, five books, nine dollars. And there's a lot of two. I'm not saying that yet. That kind of thing here. Alright, so these are all taped up really nice. Let me get this undone. So these are some awesome books here too. Oh, Double Tales 100. But there are more than one book in here. That's a nice yellow cover. Ideal. Marvel Tales 100, Party Man. Marvel Tales 120. Um, oh, Cyclone, White Cyclone, and then there's this one, Marvel Tales 119, which is Mysterio, 
revealed his identity, but he doesn't even have a hat. Isn't that crazy? See, there you go. New tape on it. And on the cover. Obviously slow. That's why you use blue tape. Thought I had that off in there. And lucky they were, I mean, they're cool books, but lucky they weren't expensive books. But, I mean, the blue tape comes off. And these are self sealing bags, which I always love. They're a little more expensive, but you don't have any tape. So this is Web of Spider Man 21. Spider-Man vs. Spider-Man, Mayhem in Manhattan. Out of here a little bit. Level of Spider-Man 22. Border cover. Level of Spider-Man 23. Web of Spider-Man 24, the Vulture. Vulture is back. These are all the Direct editions, I haven't really been paying that much attention. And Web of Spider-Man number 25, Beware the Stalker from the Stars. I don't even usually play Stalkers from the Stars much. More Marvel Tales, these are nicer. These might be some nice and shaped books. I'd say these just kind of go into my Spider-Man boxes. We've got readers. I've got some nicer ones. All right, we'll do these like this. Marvel Tales 88. We've got Spider-Man and Doctor Strange. Spider-Man 93. Fighting Hammerhead. It looks like we're going from lower numbers here. Spider Man 96. Disruptor. Spider Man versus the Disruptor. Then, as I say, I think these are all pretty much reprints of earlier Spider Man stuff. Spider-Man 97, Smasher, Destructor, well-known villains, <laughs> not really. Um, Robin Tales, Spider-Man 94, the Spider Slayer stories, and in this one, Spider-Man 1, Marvel Tales, starts Spider-Man 127, and then I have original book, which I think is 200? It's got Spider-Man in that same pose, but it, maybe it is that same cover. I thought there were different people around it. But anyway, so there's that one. And there's this last little bundle here. So it's still mostly a bunch of Spider-Man. I thought I was going to have more, more, um, Weapon X, and I saw it said Weapon X a lot. Actually, I have this book in the original Spider Man also. Marvel Tales 125. We played the Tarantula, the Jackal. Marvel Tales 124. We played the Tarantula. The classic Tarantula cover. On the reprint. Marvel Tales 123. Let's do that. Marvel Tales 123 with the Scorpion. I believe I have that book from the original Amazing Spider Man. And Spider Man. Marvel Tales starring Spider Man 122. Fighting the Scorpion. 
That's the haul from Journo. Appreciate you checking me out here at my camera's closet. Um, I'd really love it if you'd subscribe, comment, give me a thumbs up. I'd say go ahead and comment on my um, video that says this is it. 100, 100 subscriber giveaway video for one of those two slabs. And uh, keep coming back to my comic closet. We take comics, comic collecting, right out of the closet. Thank you.